What I go on peeps, what I go on, it's Valerie's Naturals Oracles here and I thought today I'm just going to shuffle some cards and see what comes out but the cards I'm going to use today is I've got the Quantum of the Quantum Oracle as a kickoff message and I thought I'd use either this one, the Tarot of the Old Path, which I'm actually selling people or the Cosmic Tarot. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. It just feels of what I'm, I'm... I'm just going to go with what I'm drawn with. But I'm also selling this one. Okay. So if you want to know, there's a link in the description to my website where you can buy these and also get readings. So before I carry on, why have you not subscribed yet? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm actually going to do a video. So, the very first thing we need to do, people, is clear the energies because I've been using all these cards this morning and we need to clear them to get fresh energies, don't we, people? So, let me see. Where's my lighter gone? Let me get a lighter so that I can actually give you some cleared cards. Okay. Let's do this quickly, shall we? Because we got time now, because i got the big boy camera out. <laughs> i got me cannon out today. I call it the big boy's toys. Because I'm actually a photography student, so I'm doing that. So I thought, instead of using my phone, which I usually do, I'm going to use the big boy toy, the camera, so that um, we can get a, a, a nice clear picture, a nice sharp picture. And I can give you what's going down at some length instead of using my phone and it keeps cutting out anyway let's get this going so holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance of reading these cards please give us the message we need to hear please give the message to the collective what do we need to hear today spirit please give us the message thank you spirit as above so below okay let's see and uh, one more thing because you know i've got to do it oh did I shake the camera? Sorry, people. I'm getting up to go and get something. Just a minute. I have to get my singing bowl. <laughs> we got to clear the energies and get the lift of vibrations. Because I have a feeling that this message might be a little bit negative today, but I'm hoping not. Anyway, let's clear the energy. So... Thank you, Spirit. That was good. Okay. So, let's get a kickoff message, shall we? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. You're going to have to forgive me because I've got another onesie on. You can see I love a onesie and it's a Saturday morning. So, I'm all about the onesies and taking a break. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance and reading these cards. Please give us the message for the collective. Please give us the message. Give us the overall message collect for the collective, Spirit. Please tell us what's going on. What do we need to know, Spirit? What does the collective need to know today, Spirit? Because I have no clue. Whatever comes out, comes out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your kindness, protection, assistance, and reading these cards. Please give us the message we need to hear right now. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, and reading these cards. Please give us the message for the collective. Please give us the message for the collective. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message for the collective. Please give me the message for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message. I'm not waiting for the cards to drop out. My spirit guides are gangster. They're going to give me the message. <laughs> Whatever we need to hear today. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? At the bottom of the deck is Discovery. But look at these. These are doozies. Spirit ain't joking today. Let's have a look. So the first card is the loving man. Now, is this is your own person coming back trying to be the loving person? Or is this a new person in your life? What's going on, Collective? Let me know. Let me know. And the second card is your higher self. Do you know what this is all about, don't you? This is all about you bossing up. You've not only gone through an ascension, you've gone through Kundalini, you've you've actually talking to your higher self, you're talking to your spirit guides, the big bosses them. And they've 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 upped your status. 
You're now aware your third eye is open. What's going on, collective? <laughs> because spirit is saying you are deserving. So this is the kickoff message. Why is they saying you're... Because you, can you see all the abundance in that card? Can you? Let me just have a look at this card. Because this card is about you're deserving something. This is the message I've been getting all morning. If you go on my TikTok, all I've been getting is surrender to divine new beginnings this is what you should do in anything you got to clear what's going on with your ancestors because we've got a new start for you and now this card has come out deserving the abundance spirit is getting ready to reward you to give you a gift for your diligence and your hard work but is this person here as a test let's find out shall we <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. So that's the overall kickoff message. So we're gonna see what spirit has got to say. So I think I'm gonna use the cosmic tarot. And like I said previously, I'm actually selling these cards on my website at the moment. So if you're into it, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message for the collective. Please give us the message for the collective. Why is the loving man here? Why is your higher self here? Why is deserving here? Please give us the overall message. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Let's look at the loving man. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to split these in three. I'm going to split these in three and hopefully we get the whole message in by the time this this thing conks out so holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance please tell us why the loving man is here please tell us about the loving man what is going on with this for the collective please tell the collective what is going on because i feel this is going to be a doozy what's going on spirit please give us the message please give us the message thank you spirit okay let's see what comes out okay What's coming out? What's coming out for the collective? Let's see. Oh, wow. What's going on? Okay, so, for the loving man. Let's see. I'm going to have a quick look at these cards, collective. Because these are a doozy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got, first of all, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. What is going on there? Can you see these cards, Collective? So there's the Eight of Wands, okay? So this loving and caring person, are they trying to actively come forward to you? Are they work, trying to work on what they want to do to come forward to you? Because you can see the rules there again. If you look at this, okay, so this is the... um. This is the loving, caring man, okay? And do you notice he's got flowers in his hand? And do you notice in there, there's flowers in there again? In that eight of, <laughs> the eight of uh, pentacles. What is going on there? Because here now, we've got somebody here who's like, what's going on here? It looks like maybe they want to come forward, but they see that you're being defensive, is that what it is? They're seeing that you're being defensive about this situation. And that's what I'm seeing here, Collective. This loving, caring person sees that they might have some obstacles here. Oh, there's some obstacles. But this card is all about work. But do you see the roses there? He's having to work up the courage. That's what it is. He's having to work up the courage to actually figure out what to do. Because he can see that you're being defensive there. Oh, what's going on with this loving man? Because next is the strength card and the lovers. What's going on here? Is he trying to have strength in this situation? Because he knows it's a love situation. 
he doesn't know what to do he doesn't because he can see that you're being defensive so he's trying to have strength in this love situation is he trying to have patience this time as he wasn't before is that's what it is is he trying to figure out what to do because he knows this is a love situation that he should have been investing in in the first place so now either you're having to have strength in this situation because of what he did to you in the past because this is what i'm getting you'll be because you wouldn't be defending yourself for nothing would you you wouldn't be defending yourself for nothing this card is all about defending yourself against something and having strength in this love situation because this is two energies whether it's a friend it's a colleague it's a workplace it's a love situation you're having to have to defend yourself and have strength but i'm more seeing because of the way the cards have come out this is a love situation so what's next here is the king of pentacles and the princess of swords now the king of pentacles on the outside is usually a stable reliable married man this is what this is about because when you get the queen of the pentacles she's the married counterpart who's the money girl this man appears to be the money man do you know what i'm getting either this is your old person who's actually bossed up or this is a new person coming forward to you, but you're seeing it as an obstacle because of what's happened to you before. But in the meantime, while they're thinking of fig trying to figure out what to do, they're watching you like a mofo. <laughs> They're really going deep and watching you. They want to see who what you're all about before they come forward to you. Is that what it is? They want to know what's going on. They want to know if you'll be receptive to this actually invitation from this person. Because they really want to come forward and gift you. Or they want to come forward and take you out. Or they want to come forward and actually discuss the situation. Because this is why they're watching. Because they're trying to find the right time to do it. Because if you was on my TikTok... I got the world card for the Divine Masculine and it's like something has changed for him and he suddenly realised what he should be doing. So, and it might be to come towards the Divine Feminine and this is what this is all about. So, we're going to leave that to one side for the minute and find out what's going on with your higher self. So, this is all about, it's usually about the Divine Feminine, but it could be a Divine Masculine as well who's bossed up, who's actually going through an ascension process, who's actually opened their third eye and sees the world in a different plane, in a different light. And we'll see how this relates to the Divine Masculine or whoever wants to come forward to you. Switch it, flip it, twitch it, take it however you want to. Energy is energy. It could be a man, it could be a woman. So, let's see. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message in reference to your higher self and collective. Please give me the message. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message for the collective in reference to the higher self. What message do you want to give the collective in reference to the higher self? What is it they need to know? Oh, because look I've got the six of clocks it's somebody oh this is a reconciliation this is somebody you've known from the past this is what this is about and look the world card there again what's going on this person this world is changing they want to come forward to you now they've recognized something holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance in reading this cards. please give us the message in reference to your higher self thank you spirit please give us the message thank you holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance you can tell I like shuffling cards, don't you? <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give us the message. The higher see the Empress has come out straight away. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. And if I need to clarify some of these cards, because I haven't I don't feel like the need at the moment, but if I clarify them, I'm gonna do it with the the tarot of the old path which is another set of cards that I'm actually buy, selling at the moment. But they, these cards are fantastic. You see, on the front of the card, delusion. <laughs> Why is Spirit showing me that card? Let's find out. So, oh my God, look, the Nine of Cups. Somebody has a wish fulfillment for you. That's at the bottom of the deck. We might go there. Let's see. Anyway, let's see what's going on with this lot, first of all. So, under your higher self, we'll find out what's got here. We've got the Empress. We've got the Queen of Swords. Oh, somebody's pissed off. <laughs> so, this is about the... the look, look, look. <laughs> this loving man on the previous bit wants to come forward to you. But he's almost like he's hesitating and wondering and just watching you. And you know why he's hesitating and watching you? Because he knows you've bossed up. You're the boss, bitch. <laughs> 
or the boss man take it flip it switch it whatever you want to do with it because look the queen of swords is in reverse now let me tell you something about the queen of swords the queen of swords is somebody who does who cuts out what doesn't serve them okay but you see the queen of swords in, in reverse not only is she cutting out what doesn't serve her she's blocking the shit out of them and she vexes af <laughs> she vexed the hell <laughs> and this is why this person is hesitating to come forward i want the bunga wunga go on yeah i want the bunga wunga and why is she vexed anyway let's move on let's move on from that let's see what's going on so We've got the Prince of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. You see when I see this? You see when you see this, right? The reason she's withdrawn her emotional energy. I had this in the TikTok again as well. She's withdrawn her emotions from this person. Because this person, and when I get this in reverse now, this person holds an apology for something. They owe her some kind of gesture. They hold an explanation, some kind of clarity. You see there? Because Seven of Swords in reverse, she recognised. You know Seven of Swords is the deception card, right? She recognised that this person was being deceptive for her but she's figured out she's caught this person in their deception this is what it is she's figured out what the deception is and that's why she's so pissed off now that is why she's so pissed off you see uh, what the bongo wonga go on here <laughs> the starvation that is why this woman is vexed <laughs> the starvation of it all <laughs> and you know what now because she's bossed up. She's not taking any shit. Because I've got the Five of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. She recognises that this person is now seeing her as a missed opportunity. Or she no longer sees him as a missed opportunity. And she might have choices. Because this is the Seven of Cups. But it could also... You could look at this two ways. Okay. He now figured out that she is a missed opportunity. This boss bitch or this boss man. Okay. And he is surrendering his choices. So you could have choices. But he, if you look at this picture closely, look at this picture good. Focus, camera, focus. Focus, camera, focus. What are you doing? <laughs> so... He's surrendering his choices because he's recognising that love situation. Do you see the love situation there? Can you see that? This this camera's messing about today. Why? Why? You're supposed to be the boy toy. Why are you messing about? Anyway. Yeah, so you can see that he's surrendering his... And do you know what? I keep getting worms. You know when you see worms? Especially if you see worms in your dreams, it means somebody's giving you the evil eye. Somebody's watching you with ill intentions. And I don't know if that's what it is, but this person... Do you know what I'm getting as well? This person, although they're surrendering themselves, they're upset for having to surrender their choices. I don't know. This is like... It's a, it's a double-edged sword, this card, isn't it? Because in some decks, it's just choices. But here, it's showing somebody bowing down. And you see all these things tumbling away? Do you see them tumbling away? And it's to do with a love situation, isn't it? Look, you see that? What a guard, what a guard, peace, what a guard. I want the bungo, what a guard, you're the starvation. This is why this queen, I have to say it again, this queen is vexed now, hell. She vex. She's vexed about the situation and she's withdrawn her emotional energy. She's withdrawn all of her energy because she recognised the stabilization this person's giving her and they're coming, they're trying to come back and they're trying to figure out how they come back. They're trying to figure out how they come back to this. Look, look. They're trying to figure out how to come back to this situation and that's why they're stagnating and watching you. How are the going on? That's terrible. So, deserving. Why is the deserving card here? Let's figure out. Let's find out. Let's ask Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance and reading these cards. Please tell us why deserving is here. Is this to do with the Divine Feminine or the person that has been wrong? Because it's clear here that somebody's been re wronged here. And that's why them vex no, them vex no shit. Because somebody was taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody took the piss and now they want to come back. What do they want to come back for? What, to give you more starvation? 
You've wised up to that shit now, haven't you? You've wised up now. You can see them coming a mile off. <laughs> you can see whatever I come with. Because they realised, you know what that's probably is happening here with them, this person as Pearl as well. They probably went off to a karmic, right? Chose somebody over you and tried to use you as a bloody option, right? Went, went back to this karmic, or whoever this person was, realised that wasn't it. And they've gotten rid of the karmic and now they want to come back to you. But they chose you as the option. You was the option. What am I coming back for? <laughs> they want to come and appear like they're happy. They, they're happy to see you. They want to come see you. They want, they, want to, they want to wrap up with you. They want, they want to be together with you. They now realise who the... You, you, you are the boss bitch. You are the boss bitch. And now they see that things are changing. When it says deserve it. When, you see, when I see that card deserve it. It means you've bossed up. You bust up and you actually know how to manifest. You see all the abundance around this woman? Do you see all the abundance? You've bust up. You could be a man, you could be a woman. Switch it, twitch it, switch it, however you want to put it. Energy is energy. You've bust up. You're gaining. This is your beginning of a new story, a new cycle. You've bust up and you've realized I can manifest whatever I want. <laughs> I'm the boss bitch. I'm the boss man. No bother with the deception again. They can't come to you with the deception again because your eye of third eye is open now. And you know, you have a purpose. You have you have a desire. You have a passion that you need to go for. And that's what you're doing. <laughs> Let's find out what Divine has to say. So... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message we need to hear. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give us the message we need to hear right now. Please give us the message. Oh, a new beginning. Justice. How are the moon going on, Hey. Oh my god, these are really good cards. Oh my goodness. There's only one negativity here, but that's alright, that's alright. Oh the death cards. Oh we gotta go to the bottom of the deck. What's going on? How are the bongo wonga? So underdeserving. First of all, we've got the Ace of Wands is the beginning of a new action. It's the beginning of something new as an action. It's, it's usually to do with work. So it's kind of what you're doing. Is that the beginning of a new action, a beginning of a new job, a promotion, starting your own business, starting your passion, going back to college, some kind of an action. Because if you do that, the Three of Cups is here. That's a celebration for you. This is why Divine is saying and brought up the Deve Deserving card. That's why that card is here. Because you deserve whatever you get, which is good karma. <laughs> so let's see what's here next. Let's see what's next. Because Spirit. You see when you see that? Okay. Spirit is giving you your justice because spirit recognizes that your heart was honest and true and pure in this situation. And because of the wrongs that you actually think, it's now divine's giving you your wishes. Look, this is the nine of wands. Oh, sorry, no, this is the nine of wands. Oh, the justice. Okay. So, what's happening here is the nine of wands. Sorry, people, I got it wrong. I got excited there. What's happened here is the Nine of Wands, you're soldiering on because you know there's justice that needs to be had. So if this person comes forward to you and they apologise or they do what they need to do, you know, you might get that justice. But Divine always says, don't wait on people to give you justice. Give yourself justice and move on. And yes, yeah, sometimes it's hard. But you know what? Do you know the people that... um don't like to complete a cycle or likes to keep you hanging they do it for a reason they do it for a reason to keep you stuck in your head and this is what this card is about get out of your head boss bitch boss man get out of your head give yourself closure give yourself justice because there's big things are gone for your honey because <laughs> look the ten of cups spirit is going to give you that you are the queen of wands you're the boss bitch 
action packed, full of passion, full of drive. You're going to get what you want because look, the Ten of Cups is here. This is a completion of a cycle. You're going to get exactly what you need, what you want. This is a happy, stable situation. This is abundance. Money I come, people. Money I come. <laughs> Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Because you are. Look, the Queen of Wands put a death to a situation and it's transforming. Is she putting this, this finally putting this masculine or this person that's coming forward to death? Because <laughs> look, the Four of Wands here, you found your happiness. Is this with a new person? This is a, the 1111 card. This is the divine card. This is the divine connection. Is somebody. You've, did you put, a, is this transformed? Does this person actually transform then? Is this why the death card is here? Does someone want to take a leap of faith towards you? Is that what it is? I don't, I have no clue what's under the deck. You see what's going on, isn't it? So, does someone want to come forward and be, behave, to, you know, take a leap of faith? Or do they feel foolish and this is why they want to come forward? Because look, behind that is the two of swords. Is their judgment clouded? And they don't quite know what to do to come forward to you. Or is it that they know that you've blocked the shit out of them. And they need to heal this situation. And this is why the star is here. Is that that they need to... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Because they realise that you're no longer in your head. This card came in upside down. This was upside down. Okay. So... They know that you're no longer in your head about this situation. You're no longer tied and trapped to this situation. You're doing your own thing. But here comes the King of Swords. What does the King of Swords want? They want to give you a new emotional. They want to give you a new stable beginning. Are you going to take this new beginning? You decide. <laughs> what I want is what I want. If you haven't. Already subscribe, please do so. So you know when I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna leave it there because that's a good that's a good ending. Because you know what? You can go back and forth with this all you want, but once you bossed up, there is either he's gotta come correct or step off. One of the two, she, he, whoever it is, flip it, switch it, twitch it, whatever you want to. Either she or he got to come correct, or they can step the F off. Because you know this person's gone through their karma. Karma yum them butty. That's why they're coming back. <laughs> they went to their karma. The karma give them the karma. The lessons that they needed to have. And now they want to run come back to you. And they chose you as the option. Do you really want to be the option? Or are they really going to come correct? You decide. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. Take care people. Nam yo harenge kyo.